We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Beavers and the Gamecocks. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Number 21 is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, one of the keys to this guy is throwing strikes. He's not a big strikeout pitcher, only averages less than seven strikeouts per nine innings pitched. So he's more of a pitch-to-contact guy, and you'll know if he's on early. He needs to get quick outs early in counts. Standing in, Joe Casey. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Joe Casey. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. First pitch, 707. The pitch. Nope, ball one. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And he will smartly swipe that ball away in foul territory, so we likely won't see the bunt again now with two strikes. That's a ball. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Temperature here at the park tonight, a comfy 72 degrees at first pitch. He stays alive, still two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good right, wheels exactly. off base, the right and that's field. just what they did right there. Right, yeah. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Standing in now, Preston Jones. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Five homers and 22 RBIs. The 1-0. Hit back toward the mound. Scooped up. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy. And you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground. And you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out. And it just wasn't meant to be. At the plate, Jake Harvey. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Jones, base runner at first with one out. Popped him up. Beaver waits on it. Two down. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Dero, what's the word on this club as they start the new month? Yeah, Maddie, you take a look up and down this lineup. One thing jumps out, a lot of guys with some quality batting averages. They find themselves in the top third of the league in batting average, and that usually bodes well. As the season gets long, if you can keep your approach, usually leads to winning games. The cutter runs outside, ball one. Now a throw over, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Two out with the man at first. And there he goes towards second. Strike taken, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early, and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out.
This is hit the other way out toward left field. Myers is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Christian Chamberlain will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy is known as the road warrior, and you can see why. He's been awfully good on the road this year, so I would expect him to pitch very well in this one here. So striding in, Will. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the game time, the second baseman, number three. He's set. Here it comes. Well, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, 5-3 and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, I always felt like these were huge games, whether it's earlier in the season or later in the season, to find a way to get to 500. You feel like you can start fresh and start pushing in a different direction. You cannot continue to ride that seesaw of win one, lose one. This team has to get hot. Starts today. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Hit down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And the pitch. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Now he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. Now here it comes. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Into the box now, number six. And she'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He'll come in here at 263. Three homers and 23 driven in. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And he's way off balance with the swing there. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, D-Road, not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. That's what you want the guys at the top of the That's order good. to do. Set the table for the Monsters, 3-4-5. Nice piece of hit. Stepping up to the plate, number 11. And with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some Rookie of the Year hardware if he can keep it up. First pitch of the at-bat. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Runners on first with one down. Oh, 
Pitch out. Nothing doing. Throw over to first, and he'll dive back in safely. And another throw over, and he'll dive back in. Runner at first here, one man out. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. He's running. Pitch is high. The throw. Short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. Well, so much for that first hit of the game. Tried to press their luck and move him up to second with the steal, but it didn't work out. Two out, nobody on. Here's the two-seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. Batting four. The first baseman. West. Stepping into the box, Wes Clark. Man at first after the two out walk. From the stretch. Hit the other way out toward right field. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Striding forward now, Jake Dukes. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. First offering on its way. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Two and zero oh count. Here it comes. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. That is it. The shortstop, and he. Armstrong. At the plate, Andy Armstrong. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And now pitch on the way. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Count even now at one and one. One and two as he chases the slider. Chopped toward the second baseman. Gonna be a tough play. Throw in time at first for route number two. That is set. The third baseman. Ryan. Oh, go. Digging in now, Ryan Ogle, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. No score here as we play inning number two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Man, you don't see this in today's game that much. The guy who's willing to work east-west. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it.
Coming to the plate now, Jeff Heinrich. He enters play at number six in National League batting average. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average. Without a doubt, the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a ball 1-0. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. That one's in there on the black two and one. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Now here it comes. Swing and a ground ball to third. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. That is good. No left fielder. No one. Meyer. Into the box now, Noah Myers looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw will be well late as he reaches it first. Boy, that's what wheels can do for you, d -Row. You can see this right here on this replay. He just simply outruns the white rabbit. He just outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if you got no wheels, newsflash, you got no wheels. Into the box, number 40. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Here's a look over to first. Now the 1 0. That's ball, two. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Yeah. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. You know, he fell behind 2-0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball, middle of the zone. The 2-1 home. Runner goes for second. Pitch misses the throw down. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Dallas. Digging in, Beaver. Dallas Beaver. Only one hit for him in his last four ball games. First pitch coming, here it is. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Runners are at first and second with one away. Ball one. Fastball. 
fastball called strike one and two. Try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out of the jam, and keep this game tied. Allen. So now to the plate, Brady Allen, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Ready with the 0-1. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Two down, runners at first and second. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here's the one and two. Again, he sends it out of play. One and two. Here it is. And he'll try to entice him with the changeup here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. The 2-2 two -two pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Field it cleanly, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Striding forward now is the DH, Cesar Sanchez. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. Here comes the first pitch. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Your idea of work and account goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's 1-2. and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The one two. Three and two now. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Stepping in now, Ben Stark. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Third inning, no score to this point. Oh, can't spot the cutter any better than that. Nothing in two now. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. 
Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really the sharp out there, guys. Go, Casey. In now, Joe Casey. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even got himself into a good hitter's count now. Three and two, full count. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. And another foul ball. Two out, nobody on. Another one sent foul. The next 3 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Myers is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So coming to the plate, Will. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Carolina. The second baseman, number three. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here's the 0-1. Look out, 1-1. One This is skied into short left center. Left fielder coming in. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first down of the inning. And with that, there you get a look at what's happening in the race in the National League West. Now to the plate, number six. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. Low with the splitter, ball one. A ball and a strike. Slow roller down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either.
at the plate number 11 as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike 268 the average for him coming in 17 home runs and an even 50 RBIs. Here comes the 0 1. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Now at the play, Preston Jones. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Behind 0-2 now. Now a fastball here that will wisely lay off, and it's 1-2. and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Number 11 has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. The first baseman, number two, Jake Harvey. Settling in now, Jake Harvey. His last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hard hit ball to second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Now batter, the center fielder, Mike God. McDowell. Now batting, Micah McDowell comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. A wind up and the 0 1. One ball, one if you're in the box right now, you got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. Weak grounder down the line at third. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Riding in once again, Wes Clark. He bats here as the reigning the rookie of the month in the National West. League. Clark. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball, that's out there. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Now here it comes. One and two. One ball, two strikes, count. Fouled off.
Another 1-2 delivery. All two. And this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. So a full count now. Jeff Heinrich is on deck. Now the three and two pitch to the left side, but it's well fouled. A payoff pitch one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strike out there, and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. Standing in now, Jeff Heinrich. As he'll ground this one fouled off to the left side. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Set. Here's the 0-1. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. One out, nobody on. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one-two. And it's fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in on to first, and there were two down. Now back, left fielder, Noah Meyer. Stepping in, Noah Myers. Here's the first pitch to him. One oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, tough to catch up when it's moving like that. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. The 1-1 home takes a pass and misses. That strike two. He's in complete command of his two-seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. You're grinding so hard at the plate right there, expecting something on the corners. And what happens? Change up, middle cut. Your eyes light up, but you're just not able to barrel it up. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning, and set to go is the second baseman, Jake Dukes. Here comes the first pitch. In there, and it's 0 1. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known for being a down and in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. Fastball runs off the outside. It's one and one. 
That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Well, that's only the second hit he's given up tonight, and the first one didn't do any damage. So he's not sweating this one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. To the plate now, Andy Armstrong, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Stays alive, still 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Fielded cleanly to second for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. It's really How tough bad. to double up a guy with the speed that he has, and he was hustling all the way on this ground ball. So they should be happy they at least got the guy out at second. It'll be interesting now to see if he tries to use that speed again and swipe a bag and get into scoring position. First pitch on its way. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. back safely runners on first with one down runners off for second pitch misses low the throw down balls there and he is out good throw wow that's a big time throw right there and it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag but he got rid of it quickly and it was a good job down there applying the quick tag they'll have to feel good about that one. the two off this is on the ground over to first. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. At the plate now, Cesar Sanchez. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Myers is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Striding into the box, number 40. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The designated hitter, number 40. From the stretch. Fouled away. The 0 and 1 delivery. Oh. One and one. A swing and a fly ball, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. To two balls and two strikes now. The 2 2.
swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that these guys currently find themselves fourth in the NL in that category. Digging in for his second at bat, Dallas Beaver, who looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another 0-2 home. Bases are empty. One man out. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses one and two. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Into the box, Brady Allen, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0 home takes this the other way to right. Jones is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Now at the plate, Ben Stark. Leading off for Oregon. The catcher, Ben Stark. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Inside, ball one. Now the 1 0 is That's looked at for ball number two. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Two and one after the foul ball there. Now the pitch. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. The 3 1. Down the left field line and deep. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Full count still. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The left fielder, number five. Go! 
Ready for another shot now. Joe Casey. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Now batting, White Fielder. Right there. Go. Ready once again, Preston Jones. One for two on his line so far in the game. First pitch of the at bat. Strike one to start the at bat. Here it comes. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here's another one, too. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Skied into straightaway right. Number 11 is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping in will be the very fleet-footed Will. The second baseman, number three. Here comes the first pitch. Runs up and gets this one down. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Boy, this is an absolute gift to them, especially when they've had so much trouble getting anybody on base. So now the leadoff hitter is aboard and might be looking to run. They've got to do whatever they can to get some offense going. So stepping in, number six, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. It's a great job right there to pull that one back, make the count 1-0, and get this defense on its heels a little bit. The number one thing, if you're going to be a good bunker, you have to get strikes. Sacrifice attempt here. Flips it behind his back. Throw is going to go on to first, so a perfect sacrifice there is now the go-ahead run moves into scoring the position back. here. Number 11. Stepping in, number 11. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. He's set, and the pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Liner toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. 
Boy, some really good pitching going into the sixth inning in this one. Big RBI base hit to break through. What a pitcher's duel this been. Yeah, Dan, the pitching's been great, but something I've been focusing on is how great the defenses have been on both sides. To push a run across in the sixth inning, let's get the bullpens fired up. In now, Wes Clark, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Two is a fastball that misses inside one and two now. Now we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. Right on the money, and he's cut down trying to take second base. So one run here, one hit, one error, and no one left on base. Seventh inning coming up. South Carolina is on top here, one to nothing. Stepping up now, Jake Harvey. And guys, seventh Ooh, inning four, already. Four, hey, I'm not complaining, four, but this four, one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree four, with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's good. The 1 0 is in there for strike one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. Looks like he's got a good feel for that two-seam fastball this far into the game. He's used it really effectively tonight. Count remains full. The next three, two. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A-B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. The next three, two. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're hanging on to a slim lead, and the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. Digging in once again, Micah McDowell. He flew out in his last at-bat. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. A runner at first with no outs here. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. The 2-0. Popped him up. Heinrich is under it, and he's got it for the first down. 
I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone. But maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. way to pitch number 100 hit in the air out to center field Allen is there now and he has it two gone the batter number nine shortstop and he arms drop. so a Crucial moment here in standing in Andy Armstrong and he does so representing the possible go ahead run. First pitch of the at bat fastball over the outside but in there for a strike. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, we join with a traditional seven hit strike. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and standing in is the rookie third baseman, Jeff Heinrich. Heinrich. Here's the first pitch to him. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Heinrich is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. Oh, and two, here it is. I got to count one and two. Fouled off. The next one two pitch. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, one down. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Digging in, Noah Myers. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. Throw not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. Definitely, Matt. He's been throwing it by guys the entire game, but that leads to some high pitch counts, and that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Into the box now, number 40. And a pitch out, nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and oh. A strike, and it's 2-1. and one. Hit out towards second. Gets dirty and gloves it. Got him. Oh. 
Now batting. Catcher. Dallas. Beaver. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Dallas Beaver. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Pickoff play at second. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys. Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up too. One and zero. Oh, here it is. And two and zero oh, as this one's taken low. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Here's the two zero. Oh. Three and zero oh now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. A 3 0 pitch. And a good comeback there. It's 3 and 1. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And the count will be full. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Ready to begin the eighth and set to go as the third baseman, Ryan Ober. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Bouncer to the left side, scooped up. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting, designated hitter, Caesar Sanchez. Into the box, Caesar Sanchez. Here comes the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Now here's the pitch. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting. The catcher. There. Start. Stepping into the box, Ben Stark. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That's a ball. Big 
bases are empty here with two men out. That's inside. 2-0. and oh. This at-bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Again, another foul ball. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Skied into straightaway right. Number 11 is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Jack Washburn is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. At the plate, Brady Allen. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. The center fielder, Brady Allen. First pitch on its way. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And that's right there, and we're even at one. down and he's got himself a base hit so a lead off base hit out of the ninth spot and that sets the top of the order up nicely here to start the inning throw won't get him so problems out there in right field as this is going to wind up going as an E9 so the lineup flips over and digging in number three it's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far but his guys are looking for him to change that right here yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. In now, number six. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Now a line drive to left center field, and it's going to get down for a base hit. In to score the runner from third, and that moves the lead to two here in the eighth. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's a big RBI late in the game here. They take a 2-0 lead, the way the pitching's been for them tonight, they're sitting in a pretty good spot. Yeah, Dan, they've gotten great pitching all game long, and all that extra run can do is give you a little bit more confidence. You don't have to pitch with such tension out there, fearful of making one mistake. And the runner back. Standing in now, number 11. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. This is in the air to left. Casey has to range back, but he'll make the catch near the line, and there are two men gone. Now batting, the first baseman, left, one. 
So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Wes Clark. First offering on its way. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Lays off the fastball away, and it's 2 0. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Now a throw over to first, and the runner back safely. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Here it comes, the 3-0. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Ready now, Jeff Heinrich. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. From the stretch, here's the pitch. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. 2-0 oh now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Here it comes, 2-0. Oh. Nope, up there. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. From the belt, the pitch. Drilled on the ground is short. He's right there. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So it's one run on two base hits, one error in the inning, and two left. We've played eight full. The Gamecocks lead it two to nothing. Number 37 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 37. Leading off the inning, Joe Casey, and they'll need him to get something going here. Listen, it's not easy coming back off of closers, but this guy hasn't been super dependable so far this season, and he's blown several saves up to this point. Now here's the pitch. I tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. He pulls this one into right. Number 11 is there, and he'll bring this one in. And there's a final look at the numbers for the starter in this one. He was on point from the get-go this evening. Hey, only allowed three hits in this one. Kept the hitters off balance and was a lot of fun to watch. 
at the plate. Preston Jones as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now a flare out to left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The first base, two. Jake Harvey. At the plate, Jake Harvey. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch on its way. Hey. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and it's fouled away. Ball one. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. South Carolina wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Number 21 notches his third win of the year. Christian Chamberlain struck out 10 in the losing effort. Number 37 wraps it up for the save, his 20th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the visitors, no runs, three hits, two errors, and they left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 24 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.